Hey guys, Trip Chance here on the PTR for Diablo 3 patch 2.6.8, checking out the Legacy of Dreams version of the Hydra Wizard. Get myself some space here at the start. Magic weapon would help. I got my shield up? Oh, I do now. Bit of a tight start here. So mainly aim is throw down black hole, throw up the two hydras, and channel. Okay, so we got yeah. Oops, that was silly of me. Ran straight into the chains. I mean. I like chains, but that was still silly of me. Out of there. I actually have black hole up to be running into chains with. That squares again, that's good. Um, teleporting around when I can to try and get out of the main damage. So, squares stays up a bit better than you'd expect with most, simply because you've got the shield on top of your health globe. So not consider taking any damage until some of your health goes down. Okay. Oh, got a speed up there. The hydras. Go grab that. You want to go around this way. This with all these mobs. Okay, I got another yellow. Move. Did lose my squirts there on that one. Oh, frozen is not great for me, generally. I really want to be on that. Frozen again. So I'm running this, it's a Greater Rift 122 with around, well exactly to be precise, 3000 Paragon points assigned. But even though I obviously have a lot more Paragon than that non-season, when I get a chance to show my Paragon, I uh, see that 2600 of those points aren't assigned. Just to imitate what I think I could realistically achieve in a season. See there, 2600 not assigned. Okay, that yellow took me a bit longer than planned. Okay. Oh, obviously I'm not being careful enough here about my squirts, unfortunately. Okay. Uh, I'm not sure if that. Oh, car down here. It's just trash. Okay, take it and go. Not really a very ideal place for a power, unfortunately. We don't see any elite, but running back to it isn't efficient either. Okay, there's a blue. That power's basically gone. I ran at it too fast then. Doing so well on my squirts this run. 
think the truckers might not be helping, I don't know. Maybe I'm just getting too crazy. Try and move that one down or move these up. I finally got that blue. A coal. I'm moving my quickly. There's something here that's just wrecking me. Oh, more blues with chains. That's exciting. Alright, the frozen's not so exciting. I got frozen. Frozen this time truck. Got more chains? Yeah, double chains. Oh, please don't be double frozen. I don't know if it is or not. 32, that's a lot of extra damage right there. Frozen. Frozen again. Oh, I'm doing a lot of frozen dodging. Not really ideal. Hey, okay. getting there. Got a channel. Go with it. Okay. That's not really very beneficial to me. Yep, I'm going to teleport for a little while, but no elite here to really work with it on. Hey. Okay. Oh, horrible mobs. Elite in here. That's where we're going to put our Hydras. Not a very good place to be in terms of upsquirts. That one's a shield. Trash isn't great for me. When I kind of keep getting through, another yellow here. Hydras. Oh, lost my squirts immediately there. I don't have squirts. I've really only killed. Gradually getting to this yellow. And Hydras do quite well on a single target like that. Like they're like, okay, now I know I can hit, I hit this thing. Okay. Oh, we got a donut. Blues here. Yeah. 
the hydras, black hole hydras, just trying to, and I've got no hope here. Getting swept up. Oh, and they've got frozen. I don't like frozen. I mentioned I don't like frozen. I don't have anything to not like to avoid CC the build, so I actually just have to jump out of the frozens. But I would much prefer not be CC'd. Oops, that like I was thrown in the wrong place in a panic. We got temple. Pops look okay. I just do a little bit of trash here. But there's yellow anyway. Don't really get a heck of a lot. These hydras are pretty great at wrecking things. Okay. Try and channel all the way through fire here. For that fire GG. One of them. For Orlash, I don't think it's going to be good. It's going to be hard to maintain squirts, but we'll see. Fire, important. On channel, channel. Yeah, I did lose squirt, so I just wanted to stay next to him because it was fire. Fire. into a better space. Fire. A little bit late because I was trying to dodge those guys and failed. I really lost my spurts. Coming up to fire again but at least this time he have his friends. Here we go. Okay so that's uh 122 down as I say with 3,000 paragon points assigned. Running non-season to be able to test that with 3,000 Paragon points. Uh, on the Legacy of Dreams, Hydra build. And I think, considering I'm not really a wizard player, so my gameplay is, you know, a bit random. Um, I think the Legacy of Dreams version of this build is performing okay. Uh, much better than the Typhon's Veil. And keep in mind here I am running Disintegrate, which is basically not bugged. Um, a lot of people running this and doing a lot higher are running Arcane Torrent, which is currently bugged and giving double buffs from Deathwish, Etch Sigil, and Mantle of Channeling. So I'm running Disintegrate deliberately to avoid that right so this is what the build actually looks like without any any bugs so let's have a quick look at the build i'm running uh and the gear and the like so legacy of dreams so i'm not running any set items here starting with the helm i'm running and visage so on that i have five skill damage attack speed crit hit chance and it always have five five percent more damage taken uh, I do have a dex roll on there because I mainly play dexterity classes normally. Obviously I prefer an intelligence roll there or potentially a socket instead of that would be fantastic. Uh, but you'd need it all rolled perfectly to get, get that socket. 
but really I'm running that for the attack speed because the attack speed is a direct buff to my pet's damage and my hydras of pets. Running Master of Channeling and this is for the channeling buffs. So on this I'm running my hydra skill damage. I am running some vit and armor. Instead of that cooldown I'd prefer some intelligence but this is just what I had to test with. I have augmented it with some intelligence there. So while I'm channeling my disintegrate I'm getting that 25% increased damage and taking 25% less damage with Running Tasker and Theos, and these are strength because they're what I have. Again, they're uh, augmented with some intelligence. But crit hit damage, crit hit chance, and attack speed are great stats for this. Keeping in mind, attack speed again is a direct buff to our pet's damage. Running Aquila Cuirass. So this is pretty well rolled. If it's not primal, you want that orange stat as low as possible, which is a bit unusual for a lot of orange stats. Um, so 90% is great. And stats on that are pretty good with Intelligence, Vitality, and Hydro Damage is our skill damage on that. Running her Brush's Binding. Now this is really important because of that orange stat. So it's reducing the cost of a bunch of our channeling skills by 64%. So that's what allows us to run with no signature spell or nothing when we run out of resource. Because we're basically reducing the cost enough that we don't have to worry about resource. We can just effectively channel continuously. So stats on that are okay, intelligence, vit, and percent life are fantastic. Instead of that resist all, probably be better off with some armor. Swampland waders, which shocked pants, don't care about the orange stat at all. We're only wearing these because we can get the elemental damage. So running fire skill damage, intelligence, vit, and resist all again on here. This all would probably be better off with some armor. These I have grabbed from one of my demon hunters, so they're actually augmented with some dexterity for armor on there anyway. Illusory Boots, running Intelligence, Vitality, Resist All is fine on those. Instead of that, Life Regen is probably where I'd want armor on these. Ashnagar's Blood Braces, so running these to increase the potency of the shields, and that's up to 100%. In this case, it's Galvanizing Ward is our shield, and that's really important for when we're getting hit and keeping up squirts. I didn't do as well with squirts this run, um, but basically... I'm running life 787,000 here and shield, which unfortunately you can't see above that. If you hover over your life globe on this build, you'll see your shield. Mine's 921,000. So that's, you know, helped out by things like Ashnagar's blood braces. Okay, jewelry now. Running Squirt's Necklace, as I say, you do want to keep this up and it's one of the reasons you want to move around. It can depend a little bit of the affixes and how many ranged mobs and stuff you have, how easy this is to keep up. Uh, some runs I've had it up pretty much the majority of the times. Other runs, just like now, I didn't keep it up nearly as well as I should have. So, yeah, just keeping it up as much as you can. That's your one on that. Probably Elemental Damage, Crit Hit, Damage, Crit Hit Chance. So this one isn't, you know, quite ideal, but it is what it is. Running Convention of Elements, I'm running this with Crit Hit Chance, Crit Hit Damage, and a Plus Damage Roll because it's what I've got. I would prefer on my pet's build Crit Hit Damage, Crit Hit Chance, and Attack Speed personally. Obviously on this you want your orange stat as high as possible, up to 200%. It ranges from 150 to 200 if not a Primal. Halo of Karini. So again, stats aren't great on this, um, but it's just what I had to test with. So Crit Hit Chance, Crit Hit Damage, Attack Speed are the kind of stats I'd want in there again. Importantly, orange stat as high as you can. It generally ranges 60 to 80%. So more protection the higher that orange stat is. Okay, weapons. So running Death Wish, really important for the build because again it's a channeling buff. So your hydras are doing damage, but you are channeling at the same time. So that's buffing your hydra's damage as well. And this goes up to 325% the orange stat on the Death Wish, which is a massive, massive boost. Our stats on that are pretty good. Uh, overall, okay damage. Damage, intelligence, and attack speed. Remembering that attack speed helps our pets out. Etch Sigil is another channeling buff. So all Etch Sigil, Death Wish, and Mantle Channeling all buff while we're channeling. In this case, the orange stat goes up to 150%, so you want that as high as possible. That's a damage roll, intelligence, crit hit chance. The critical hits gain arcane power is kind of handy. It just really 
helps keep that arcane power up. Obviously, we're not using much, but a little bit extra can help. And then a hydro skill damage on that one as well. Okay. Quick look at my cube. Running Serpent Sparker. This is one of the changes in patch 2.6.8, at least in the PTR. So one extra Hydra active. So that's why we've got two of our Mammoth Hydras. And they deal 600% increased damage. So a massive damage boost there. The Magistrate, this is a helm, so you could wear it, but there's a big range on it as well. So 600% increased damage on our Hydras is what we're getting from that. And keep in mind at the lower side, it's 450% as shown on this helm here. So it's a pretty massive range. So having it in the cube helps. Make sure you get the maximum of that range. If you're wearing it, you really need to make sure you're on the top side of that. Finally, Unity, wearing this in conjunction with my follower who has one on as well to just help me survive during that rift. Okay, normal gems. I'm not running a gem in the helm because I don't have the socket. If I did, I'd probably be running an amethyst for a plus life in the helm. I'm running intelligence in the armor, but you could run strength or dex in there for some armor instead if you liked and I'm running critical hit damage in the weapon legendary gems I'm running Bane of the Trap so anything under control impairing effects is taking more damage enforcer for more pet damage and keeping in mind my hydras are pets and legacy of dreams to try and pull this whole build together and make it work so make sure you've got a legacy of dreams gem it doesn't work out well if you try and run it without one Okay, Paragon. So the set I'm running with 3,000 Paragon points assigned. So I have them all in utility, all in defense, all in offense, running as if I'm at end of season 3,000 Paragon. I put all my points into max arcane power and movement speed. A couple hundred into vitality. Not totally sure if I need that or not, but it's all good. And then the rest of the 3,000 into intelligence for that damage boost. Quick look at the skill screen now running storm armor power of the storm disintegrate convergence keeping in mind i am running this with disintegrate because it is not bugged here in ptr as opposed to arcane torrent which is bugged making those multipliers on death witch etch sigil and mantle of channeling multiply twice basically so this is to try and give a more realistic test of what this build can do without the bugs is why i'm running disintegrate there Hydra, Mammoth Hydra for the LOD version of the build. I don't need the head, so having the extra damage is handy. Black Hole, Spell Steel. Now you want to be casting this where you can, hitting more mobs for the bigger damage boost, basically. Teleport, Wormhole. This is utility. Move around, dodge some damage, try and keep your squirts up. And Magic Weapon, Deflection. So this has its own little shield as well as you know having the damage boost passives running audacity so everything really close to me is getting extra damage on it which is kind of nice illusionist this is really helping with my teleport Let me teleport more when i get hit unstable anomaly this is a cheat death i like running a cheat death some people don't feel they need it on this build and galvanizing ward absolutely critical for that shield which again is buffed by the Ashnagar's blood braces uh, to help us keep our squirts up and, you know, to help stay alive as well. Okay, that's the build. Uh, I, I say, I think it's performing pretty well. 3000 Paragon, Greater Rift 122 without too much hassle. So this could definitely uh, push higher with some fishing of, of maps and the like. We could probably do a a 125 with some fishing and the like, so I think that's reasonable. Let's show the clothes here. Impressive. Legacy of Dreams. Hydra, Greater of 122 down with 3000 Paragon. Thank you very much for watching, and GG!